Hi there, this is Manav from TechWiser.com and welcome to your favorite series, Productivity Tuesday. Now, everyone wants to be productive and one way to do that is Pomodoro Technique. For the unknown, Pomodoro Technique is developed by Francisco Cirelio after a tomato-shaped timer that he used in his university to track student time. I've been using this technique on and off for past few years, mostly when I want to get more things done in short time. Say if I'm going out for a vacation and I want to complete all my pending work. So let's see how it works. To get started, you choose a list of tasks to be completed. Then set a Pomodoro timer for 25 minutes and work on it. Once done, put a check mark on your sheet and take 5 minute short break and repeat the same cycle again. After every 4 Pomodoros, take a longer break of 10 to 20 minutes. Now while you can always get one of the Pomodoro or a kitchen timer from Amazon, we always recommend using a Pomodoro timer apps on your device. They not only let you keep logs of all your work, but you can also take it anywhere you go. Not to forget there are tons of other options that come with it. Next question comes, which Pomodoro timer apps should you use? Now, while there is no shortage of Pomodoro apps for any platform, I prefer Pomodoto. It's free, works on every platform, and best of all, it syncs data everywhere. To get started, open up the application and create a list of tasks that you want to complete, like script, reply to email, code analysis, etc. Now, this is just for demonstration. There's no way you can complete all of that in 25 minutes. So take something realistic. The app allows nesting, which means you can create subtasks within each task. This is good for breaking down bigger tasks or managing smaller projects. For example, if I am working on a script, then you can set Pomodoro timer for research, writing and proofreading etc. Once you are done selecting the task, start the Pomodoro timer. For each task, a Pomodoro session will begin, helping you to check off that list more effectively. There are also other features like stats to check your daily, weekly or monthly progress. And what's more, the Pomodoro app can even block other applications like Snapchat, gaming apps from sending you notification. But my favorite part is you can sync all your data across every platform, be it Android, iOS, Mac or even Windows. And it's not just the app. If you have a smart speaker like Google Home or Echo Dot, you can also use them to set up a Pomodoro timer. 25 minutes remaining. Something to note, Pomodoro Timer works best when you are working on an individual project. For example, I can use Pomodoro Timer for editing my videos, doing research or write a script. But I won't use Pomodoro Timer when I want to do a sales call or brainstorm with my team. Because then you cannot quantify or qualify the type of work. Also, avoid using dozens of Pomodoro Timers in one day. If you do, the quality of work will degrade. There's so much productivity you can achieve in one single day, so don't push it. I suggest you start with 4 Pomodoro a day and avoid all kind of distraction and communication. And if you do that, you can easily see 2 times increase in productivity. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will also list down some other Pomodoro timer apps in the description of this video. So let me know what you think. Like always, it's been all signing off. I will see you in the next one. Maybe.